Hi, this is Money from BSC to NSE.com. So, uh, the Fibonacci uh, traders dashboard is kind of ready, wherein I can uh, access it at the time and share it. It's not available in the web format yet, uh, it'll soon be ready. So, before uh, I think I've already started adding and you guys into WhatsApp and I'm already sharing the daily data with you so uh, here's to explain why it's significant so this is a case of uh, today's crossover wherein Reliance communication is crossing over 76% uh, and I'm going to just tell you why that is so I'm going to mark a red line that is close to the and I'm using the closing value not the uh, intraday highs and lows so this is my lowest point which is pretty close to 110 and my highest point or the 52 week high I'm sorry. and my 52 week high is close to 161 or so on the closing value the highest point right so it's close to 161 so as you can see uh, uh, this is the last one year chart and we take the one year uh, 52 week low and high and in this case the low point is close to 110 the high point is close to 160 and the understanding is that uh, let me just give you the calculations here so for ARCOM Fifty two week uh, low is uh, one ten. Fifty two week high is uh, one sixty or one sixty one. Right. So the way uh, Fibonacci ratio is calculated is that the range here is fifty one. So I'll calculate the 60% and uh, or 62% and 38% for this. Or in in our case, I'll, let's just calculate 24%. Uh, uh, so the range is 51, and you calculate 24%. Um, and you add it to this. So so 24 percent is approximately 122 and 38 percent we will have 62 percent and 76 percent approximately 19 so this will be 129 62% will be uh, 51 so it will be close to 141 So this is approximately 148. So today, as you can see that um, uh, the ideal understanding is that uh, below the 30, 38%, the investor sentiment, average investor sentiment, and it's not, um, so in the lower zone, between the 52 week low and the 38 percent the investor sentiment will be pretty weak the reason being people who are invested in crores and crores of money uh, they'll feel relatively uh, weaker uh, because their returns on investment will be lesser in this zone 
so there will be some kind of panic selling uh, possibly because of the markets also going lower also because of the sentiments being uh, low in this particular counter so and that's how the Fibonacci works wherein uh, I can just show you uh, let's draw the line in the chart so that I'll be able to explain even better so like we saw there 24 and 38 percent or 122 and 129 so I'm going to draw a couple of more red lines which are like thinner so 122 and so let's say 122 is somewhere here yeah I hope you can see it maybe a little thicker and one more line at 129 and let's draw the uh, 76 62 and 76 so 141 and 148 148 I know this is like too many lines in here uh, I'll try to get these thinner because it, it looks too bad actually so like 122 129 just quickly draw these One forty one and one forty nine. Yeah. So for the green lines, I look for a crossover on the upside. Okay, so let me mark some green circles. So here you can see the sixty percent crossover, and here the fifty percent crossover. These two lines here on the upside. And again, you can see uh, it taking the support here and staying up for a couple of weeks before it eventually goes down. And then a crossover here, and then a crossover here. And then uh, you can look at the various downside crossovers. You, you can see the downside crossover here. One more downside crossover here. Uh, and then a downside crossover on the closing here afterwards it just goes down slowly and gradually and a downside crossover here so a particular script will give you opportunities like these wherein uh, it's crossing over on the downside and you can see a crossover here on the downside and it tends to go down the immediate reaction after a crossover is to take if it's a downside crossover the immediate reaction uh, immediate next one or two weeks reaction will be further uh, uh, downside or further selling similarly on the upside you can see here uh, I think a uh, couple of weeks back or maybe three weeks back RCOM just crossed like 141 it went up till 155 and then again back to 151 now it came down and took support near the 60 percent line and uh, it's now again crossed the 76 percent and it's most likely heading towards the 100 percent line here that is towards 160 so this is the current situation wherein we have a crossover here it's a positive crossover and the expectation is that the next two weeks and we have only like one more week till expiry and or let less than like five six trading sessions so in in this case I would bet and I can see the RSI is come down to 50 and then again looking to rise it's on the rise and you can see that the stock has taken support at the 60 percent line and it's gone above the 76 percent so this is the right time uh, to enter uh, into the stock uh, most times you cannot judge the stock when it is near the neutral levels or ne the neutral lines so it's more uh, prudent and more uh, it's actually uh, more smarter 
to actually uh, go on a crossover taking a crossover like this rather than trading somewhere in between and trying to judge the stock so in this case we will look to only trade the crossovers and we'll not be trading the same script again so it'll be different uh, company uh, each day for example this week it's arcom next week it can be our uh, bharti airtel next week it can be ultra tech Simmons. so that keeps changing based on the crossover and we will analyze the charts and we'll find other supporting parameters like for example in this case uh, now this is without the lines so i have the rsi chart here and i have other supporting factors like elliott wave wherein this could be the first Elliott wave and this this is the second Elliott wave and we are possibly the second Elliott wave itself is not complete in this or we are possibly on the third Elliott wave the start of the third Elliott wave or the other way you look at it is this is the first Elliott wave this is the second Elliott wave and this is the third Elliott wave so uh, in all cases either you look at Elliott wave or the RSI uh, it's still pointing that there is a potential upside here so we'll be taking this uh, as a call and our uh, trading strategy will be to trade ARCOM in the next one or two weeks and I'll explain the budget involved in a So these are Fibonacci crossovers and again 62% and 76% are upside crossovers wherein the investor sentiment and trader sentiment will be extremely bullish and we can accept, expect further upside and we will also look at uh, the nifty levels whether nifty is also pretty much when nifty is uh, pretty extremely positive you will see a lot of positive crossovers in specific stocks and those are good, good opportunities to take. And similarly, when Nifty is sentimentally weak, like one year back when uh, US dollars uh, to INR was like going towards 68, 70, at that time uh, there there would have been a lot of downside crossovers which went below the 38%. So at that time you should look to uh, uh, make use of those opportunities. And today's is a case of Harcom uh, Reliance Communication with an upside crossover. It's 76% and overall market sentiment is positive and it should support ARCOM uh, so as long as nifty doesn't go down by much uh, the ARCOM trend should continue to be on the upside so a simple strategy is to go long in ARCOM futures at 150 it's currently at 150 and you can sell uh, ARCOM call option at uh, at the money so one for you will we'll choose the 150 call option it's currently trading at 5 rupees with only one more week to expiry so what this means is you're gonna sell this contract so it is going to give you a downside support until 145 meaning you go long in ARCOM at 150 and uh, by next week Thursday uh, if it is at 145 you will still uh, you can still exit with no loss no gain uh, so that's what this means but since you're selling this contract uh, let's say ARCOM goes to 180 in the next one week ideally with just a long in futures position you could have gained 30 rupees but since you're selling this contract your upside will be capped at 5 rupees uh, meaning the lot size is 2000 so in this case your upside will be uh, capped at uh, 10,000 rupees and for a third hedge uh, we can actually buy nifty put option 7500 PE at uh, uh, 50 rupees uh, so 7500 PA at 50 rupees should cost you only 2500 rupees so assuming there is a huge uh, market crash wherein uh, nifty suddenly tanks by 500 points within a week so this premium will jump from 50 rupees to 500 rupees so therein it will cut down your losses wherein ARCOM can also go down to maybe 135 or 140 140 is the support because 141 is the 60 percent crossover so it's most likely not expected to go down below 140 even if uh, nifty crashes so uh, the idea is um, so you're, you're pretty much secured here on all counts wherein you are selling uh, 150 call option for downside insurance for ARCOM and you're also buying a nifty put so that you're secured against any market falls 
something happens in Iraq and market crashes you still get uh, covered for that so in our case the budget here involved uh, again uh, the only case that you lose money is when nifty goes up a lot and arcom doesn't go up or and arcom doesn't go down below uh, an arcom goes down below 145 which is a very very less possibility the reason being arcom is extremely bullish right now just like nifty is bullish and arcom has just today crossed the 76% uh, and any uh, uh, any rise in nifty should definitely see arcom also shooting up a lot so in this case the budget required per lot is around 90k and the potential profits is uh, 10000 in just 2 weeks now this may not be even 2 weeks this is possibly even just 1 week and i'll tell you why uh, um, uh, the why the budget required is 90k and uh, and again the potential profit being 10,000 it, it means that you're making 10% returns within a week so if you're if you're taking like two or three opportunities like these every month and you're able to convert 10-10% that will still mean like 30% returns in a month uh, that is exceedingly good uh, even though you're still hedging and you are capping your upside potentials so I would advise you to initially when you're starting to trade off uh, I mean trade uh, trade with these hedging uh, meaning you sell the add the money call option and you buy a nifty put when you're going long and assuming you're go you're taking a 38 percent crossover on the downside you will go short in futures and you will write add the money put option and you will buy a nifty call option as a hedge to protect against uh, market upsides so i'll show you show you the zero the calculator So here's the zero the margin calculator that I've made for Arcom here. You can see that um, Arcom I've chosen Arcom, and you can see the below two contracts wherein Arcom futures you you're going long, and individually you'll require 55k for that. And selling the options contract 150C that you can see here will require close to 47k. Uh, the total margin required is 1 lakh but since this is a hedging position uh, you would require only like 71k so you have margin benefit of 31k so it required 70k for um, going long in ARCOM and uh, writing a ARCOM uh, options contract together and buying a nifty put will require only 2500 so the combined uh, combined uh, budget that you would require is less than 75k the additional 10k 15k is to be in cash for downside MTM just in case um, so necessarily in most of these stock cases wherein um, uh, you're trading based on Fibonacci uh, the expected budget is somewhere around 80k to 90k and the expected profits within a week or two weeks and sometimes you can uh, continue to roll over for uh, four weeks also fun sometimes when it is the first week of the month you still have like three four weeks the add the money call option contract itself will be trading at a huge premium of close to 15 or 20 which means your upside potential is also huge and your profit potential also goes up a lot so sometimes you may have to hold for three or four weeks so it depends on the time you enter and the time you look to exit so any questions you just post on this video I'll try to uh, clear as much as I can and for people who are not joined the whatsapp group yet i will highly suggest you to join us uh, that's it for now thank you bye bye